everyone, welcome to this video and this channel. My name is Gabriel Buck and in today's video we're going to talk about things to do on the Go Coast Australia. So first of all, before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel to have more content like this and ring the bell so you won't miss any video that I post here. I've got my little flag here and I'm gonna hold it all the video long. So if you're living on the Go Coast, it's quite challenging because uh, some people might think that's quite challenging. I think it is because it's a small city, it's a small place. So there's so many things to do actually. Um, I've got a list here, I'm going to, to tell you uh, some of the things that I thought about um, but in general I don't think it's the city where you're going to find a lot of things to do every day at least this was my experience living two years on the Go Coast in Australia and yeah that's just what I think but based on this thought based on this opinion of mine uh, we have to consider that I couldn't drive at the time and also, I'm not a very social person. I don't like parties, I don't like talking to a lot of people. So I'm not very social and I couldn't drive. So the options get a bit harder. Anyway, list of places and things to do. I would like to start with the theme parks. So there's over four theme parks on the Gold Coast. There's Movie World, which is beautiful. There's there's a few rides for you to go on and uh, some restaurants that are delicious, but it's a bit expensive. There's also Wet n Wild, which is even more beautiful. It's an amazing place. I love Wet n Wild. There's a huge wave pool in the entrance and it is so cool. There's also Dream World. I've personally uh, never been to Dream World. But I've seen some photos and it looks like it's a very beautiful place too. And of course, SeaWorld. SeaWorld is a very polemic kind of park because they keep some animals, some um, sea animals in it. So there's dolphins, um, what else? There's, there's a few uh, animals. Uh, that they keep that so they can take care of them, but they uh, participate in shows. They're actually the main attractions. So, um, well, I don't know what to say about this. Each one of us has a different opinion, so I'm not going to talk about this right now. There's also the casino, the Star Casino. Amazing place, beautiful, really cool. So many lights, so many machines, so much money and so easy to lose your money too <laughs> i i kind of lost all the money i had in the casino well i'm just kidding but anyway <laughs> um it's a very cool place too and there's some restaurants in it you can also go to the national parks just like Lamington national park it's a beautiful place very green <laughs> and yeah you can get a bit of fresh air in this kind in this in this parks and um it's very peaceful and beautiful i love to admire the nature um in these parks because it's um definitely gorgeous there's a springbrook national park too that you can see the, the natural bridge i have a video um vlogging in the national bridge i'm going to link it over here you can also go to the street markets. So there's some street markets that happen, um, I don't know, along the year. I, I'm not sure, they're not definitive markets. So I can't say that you're going to find one if you go to the Go Coast, but uh, they're always in the streets. You can go shop there if you want. I think there's one in Burley Heads. Burley Heads, it's a suburb on the Go Coast. We also have the beaches where you can go surfing or maybe just to sunbathe. I love personally Miami Beach and Bali Heads Beach and Kira Beach. Incredible places, fantastic beaches. You can also shop in the shopping centers such as Pacific Fair Shopping Center. It's a very modern shopping center and I like it a lot. There's a lot of things to do there. You can go to the movie theater you can shop in the stores you can you can have lunch 
and the place is very beautiful. There are some colorful chairs uh, that you can just stay there chilling. It's also in middle of it. Well, I don't support fishing, but you can also go fishing in the canals. If you didn't know, Go Coast is all full of canals that um, go through the city and it's very beautiful and very nice and you can go fishing there but don't swim in the canals well people say that there are sharks actually a couple of months ago a shark was found in one of the canals on the go coast so don't swim in the canals only for fishing okay have you ever thought about going to the mountains? You can go to the mountains in Australia too. I'm not, I'm not talking about climbing a mountain, but you can you can get there by car. And there's a very, very, very beautiful one that I love it, uh, which is called Tambourine Mountain. You can go there, you can have access to the mountain by car. It has a, such great view. And if I'm not mistaken, they have a cafe there, but I'm not sure. Can't remember. Have you ever heard about the tallest residential building on the Go Coast in Australia? No? Well, there is a tower which is called Q1 and it is amazing, really. There's 71 or 72 floors and you can reach the top very fast in the lift and it is beautiful up there you can you can see all the city you can see all the ocean and it's so nice really it's it, it was an amazing experience when i went there i've been there twice i guess and you can have breakfast and lunch if not if i'm not mistaken there uh, of course you have to pay for it it's not very cheap but it's really worth it to go. But it's not the tallest building anymore. It used to be the world's tallest building, residential building uh, from 2005 to 2011. But yeah, nowadays it's not anymore, but it's very, it's very high. And also you can go to the parties. There are a lot of pubs and nightclubs on the Go Coast and the nightlife is very busy, especially in the summertime. And you can also catch the train to go to Brisbane, of course. It's not something to do on the go, because uh, you, you're going to Brisbane after all. Uh, but you can go to Brisbane by train. You can have very easy access to the train. You can, you can get the tram until the last station, the last tram station, which is in Helensvale. And in Helensvale, you get the train that takes you to Brisbane, which is this, the neighbor city. If you liked the list that I brought for you today, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a big thumbs up to me, please. That will help me a lot. And I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, bye.